Hello and welcome to another Morales Minute. These are quick tips and sage advice to level up your Web3 game development. Hi, my name's Sam. I'm a Unity certified developer at Morales. I have over 20 years of game dev experience and more than 10 years experience as a digital nomad. I love spending time in nature and practicing sports, as well as drawing, painting, and making music. Together, we'll learn more about the Unity Editor. Unity's flexible development platform offers incredible possibilities for real-time solutions, including games. Improve the quality and efficiency of your projects with these quick tips. A new version of the Unity Editor has been released. You can choose the one that works best for you. Unity offers two different version releases. Let's understand the features and benefits of each version. The text stream is for cutting edge features and new functionality. This is released about twice a year. With LTS or long-term support, users here get stability and improvements and bug fixes on existing features. This is ideal for starting a production project where you have about two years of Unity support for this version you're on. The Unity platform release timeline gives us an idea of the cadence. We have two text stream releases per year and one long-term release per year. To learn more direct from Unity about this release, click the link above. The new version is available now for download in the Unity Hub. Here are the highlights for what is new and improved in the latest release. Enhanced productivity. Inside the Unity Editor, you'll find new and improved workflows, which will speed up your development. Extensible Editor. Here you'll find new powerful tools to help you build and extend the editor for your team's use. In the screenshot here, we see the new Spline tool. Scalable Material Workflows. Just like Unity has prefabs and prefab variants, now with this release, you have materials and material variants. Detailed Performance Insights. Now there's even more functionality with Unity Profiler, including in-game GUI and platform optimizations. You'll see as you work in Unity, build to device, and run on device, there are speed improvements in all areas. So that you can see the screen better, I'll lower the opacity. Let's take a look at some of the key community resources here. On the Unity blog, we see the official announcement. This is a great place to start. It links to some of the other things I'll show. The blog goes over the how and why for this feature release. It includes a lot of the details that I use when learning about this release. In the Unity forum, you can learn more details about the release and also ask and answer popular questions about new functionality. There's also an opportunity to engage on different suspected bugs and be able to report those bugs here to improve the tool. In Unity's release page, you can see the high level marketing details, what to get excited about with this new feature release. Here we see the theme and highlights for the feature release. And in the what's new area of the website, we can see the change log. These are the line by line improvements, changes, and fixes that you'll see. If you're curious on the details of particular features, you can check that out here. Here we are in Unity in the latest release. I'm gonna show off just a few key features. For the extensible editor, we now have a new feature of splines. This is natively supported in Unity editor itself. Splines are curves in 3D space and you can do lots of stuff with it. Here I did a simple example where I've got a shape that follows along a line. This can be used for gameplay, creating effects, lots of different stuff. Until now, you would needed to use third-party tools to do this. Now it's natively available inside Unity Editor itself. For scalable material workflows, let's look at the material variant. Now here in the scene, I have three cubes, each that have a unique material applied. These three are all variants of a base material. So let's take a look. If I make a change to the material base, for example, the color, you can see that all three change. Yet you can also see that they're quite unique. The left one looks more gray, the middle one more white, and the right one mostly transparent. That's because each individual variant can adopt whichever parts of the base and also have their own unique aspects. So here I can change the color, or I can revert back to the original color. For platform optimizations, let's look at the compilation speed. 
Since previous versions of Unity, there's been some tweaks you can do in the settings to drastically improve your compilation time. Let's compare them two in the latest version. I'll make a quick change in the scene. You could also update some code running in the scene and get some similar results. And now I'll run the scene. Now this is a pretty empty scene. We'd expect compilation to be pretty fast already. Now let's toggle on some features and improve that compilation time. In the project settings, under editor, you can check some enter play mode options. You can hover over each item and see more information. There's several toggles you can do. But just doing this setup here, let's see how the time has been improved. I'll do a small change to the scene, and I'll run the scene. Now in both cases, I did no editing for shortening the compilation time. You could see the first one was around five seconds, give or take, and the second one, it looks instantaneous. I don't even see the loading menu. Now, you can't always enable this mode. You have to look at the documentation to see which features you're trading off, but certainly there are periods of development when you can check these options on, enjoy the great benefits, and then maybe for other parts of your workflow, when certain things are changing, you're going to want to go back to the longer compilation that gives you a true rebuild of the project. That's it. We've taken a look at all the features that we wanted to cover here inside Unity. Level up your Web3 development skills by building weekend projects. Sign up at moralis.io slash projects. Visit docs.moralis.io to download and get started. Thanks.